Hi there. Um, I am recording my second Facebook Live video with uh, with tips and um, and helpful advice about being an entrepreneur, both on the social mission side with the nonprofit that we have at Sama, um, and also on the for profit side. And uh, the last video I did two days ago had about 10,000 views, so that was exciting. And I asked the community what kinds of things I should talk about. And one of the questions that always comes back to me is, is fundraising. How do you fundraise both, again, for a for-profit organization and a nonprofit? So um, I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes or so describing some of the things that I've learned about fundraising. And hopefully that will be helpful to all of you. If you have any questions, please feel free to add them in the feed. And you can also add them in the comments section and I'll try to respond later. And I'm going to try to do one of these videos every one or two days um, until I, uh, I get feedback that they're not useful. <laughs> so, um, so fundraising, what are the things that lead to successful fundraising? First, a little bit of background about um, this topic for me. I've raised about $25 million in the last eight years for Sama, the nonprofit that I run, and more recently, Lakshmi, we raised a $2 million seed round from angel investors and VCs last year in the fall. So I've spent a lot of time thinking about fundraising and, uh, and training other people in our organization on fundraising. Here are some of the things that I've learned. The first and most important principle of fundraising, whether it's for a for-profit company or a nonprofit, is trust. Ultimately, what you're doing is convincing someone else that you are a good investment of their hard-earned cash, and if you are a nonprofit, that trust has to be in the business model and the kind of work that you're doing. People have to see that their investment is going to yield a real social outcome, and they want to feel like they've been responsible for that kind of an outcome. Um, the second um, uh, aspect of trust for fundraising on the for-profit side is um, is you know trust that you're going to actually deliver a return, a financial return for someone. So it's basically either a social return or a financial return, or hopefully, if you're building a social impact company, both. So how do you establish trust? I think the first is proof points. So if you're building a new enterprise, anything that you can do to show efficacy, anything that you can do to show that you are actually capable of delivering the outcome that you're promising is a good indication to investors uh, that they should put their money in you. In the early days of Sama, when it was just an idea, I went around and pitched a ton of different organizations and uh, you know big foundations and individuals on the idea of giving me money so that we could go and build a center in Kenya and train low-income people to do work through the internet. Initially, everybody pretty much laughed me out of the room. Um, oh, looks like I might be frozen. Let's see here.